spoke with uh, several of them uh, heading into the in and out of the courtroom throughout the day today, and we talked to them about uh, control gun control issues that have uh, been debated so fiercely here in the in the last few weeks in the in the United States, and we started off by talking with. Tom Teves, his son Alex, was one of the victims gunned down in the Aurora Theater shooting back uh, in, on July, the night of July 20th. And he talked about uh, assault rifles and what he, thought, what he thought should happen with them and if they should be banned. Listen to what he said. There's only one reason to use those weapons, and that's to murder people. So we probably should call them murder weapons, and we probably should get them off the streets. People kill people. Guns don't kill people. Unless your job entitles you to having a gun, I feel like they should be illegal. My cousin's a cop, and he would tell me about kids just walking around with guns. So, I mean, yeah, access to guns is, is a little too lenient. Appears a mix of opinions from uh, many of the people we spoke with today uh, who had come to listen to this, this preliminary hearing today in Centennial, Colorado. Ed, thanks very much indeed. Joining me now are Jessica Watts and Dave Hoover. Jessica was in the courtroom for today's hearing. Her cousin, Jonathan Blunk, died protecting his girlfriend from the shooting, and she joins me now exclusively. Dave Hoover's nephew, A.J. Boyk, was one of those killed in the Aurora movie theatre. Welcome uh, to you both. Let me start with you, Jessica. It must have been a very difficult day for you, and indeed for all relatives uh, involved in that appalling incident. What was your feeling today as you uh, sat in the courtroom watching the events? Um, it was definitely very sad, um, very traumatic to hear new details um, regarding the shooting and the position of, um, you know, where everybody was in the theater when their bodies were recovered. Um, and also to just look around the courtroom and to see the other family members and the amount of grief that everybody is still going through. When you saw... Uh, the shooter uh, up close as you did today did it shock you even more that he was able to arm himself <clears throat> in the horrifying manner that he did yes um, and not only that but you know um, it was amazing to me the amount of ammunition that he had um, not only uh, in the, the weapons that he used, but also in his pockets and what was found on the floor and in the parking lot. Let me turn to you, Dave Hoover. As I said, you're the uncle of A.J. Boyk. You've been active since the Aurora shooting in trying to frame some new legislation here. Tell me about what you would really like to see happen. Pierce, I can't say uh, how much I agree with your opinion and what you've stated previously. I appreciate you having your First Amendment right, and I am, I am glad you're speaking out because that's exactly what we need to do is have a conversation, a reasonable conversation. This country needs to realize that we need to make sure that these guns are not in the hands of those who shouldn't have them. They need to be in the hands, and, and, and uh, an AR-15 or an M-16, same weapon, just a different designation, needs to be in the hands of the military or police only. Uh, high capacity magazines have no place in, in, the, in the world of hunting and what we need to do is make sure that people can protect themselves at home and protect their families but we do not need to be throwing more guns out there on the street to be used by criminals and we need to have a framework at least something set in place that will tell our community and our, our country this is not right this is where we're going to live guns do not need to be out there uh, like I can go buy a loaf of bread. I mean, it, it, it's, it's insane to be able to do that. Nobody wants to come in and, and say that if I'm a depressed individual going through a rough time in life, we're going to come take your guns away. But if you're talking to a therapist and you're saying, I'm going down to the theater or I'm going to church and I'm going to wreak havoc, that person does not need to have a gun or access to a gun. They should be uh, having their background checked. They should be... Uh, Anybody who is a reasonable gun owner, of which I am, I hunt, I went hunting this year, I, I harvested my deer, I'm happy to go through any background check and I expect that any other gun, on, gun owner in this country is going to go through the same background check that I am. Dave, uh, thank you very much for joining me and indeed to you, Jessica. Anyone who's watched this show over the past few weeks knows I've taken a pretty strong stand on guns in America. It's on escape the notice of supporters of gun rights and it's led to a petition on the White House official website, no less. It's entitled, and I quote, 
deport British citizen Piers Morgan for attacking Second Amendment. Take a look. More than 104,000 people have signed it so far. And joining me now is one of the people behind the petition, Alex Jones. He's host of The Alex Jones Show. Welcome to you. Beers, thanks for having me. Why do you want to deport me? Well, we did it as a way to bring attention to the fact that we have all of these foreigners and the Russian government, the official Chinese government, Mao said political power goes out of the barrel of a gun. He killed about 80 million people because he's the only guy that had the guns. So we did it to point out that this is globalism and the mega banks that control the planet and brag that they've taken over in Bloomberg, AP, Reuters, you name it, brag that they're going to get our guns as well. They've taken everybody's guns but the Swiss and the American people. And when they get our guns, they can have their world tyranny. While the government buys 1.6 billion bullets, armored vehicles, tanks, helicopters, predator drones, armed, now in US skies, being used to arrest people in North Dakota. The Second Amendment isn't there for duck hunting. It's there to protect us from tyrannical government and street thugs. Take the women in India. Your piece earlier on CNN I was watching uh, during Anderson Cooper's show didn't tell you that the women of India have signed giant petitions to get firearms because the police can't and won't protect them. The answer well, is, let's, let's, hey, wait a minute, I have FBI yeah. crime statistics okay. that come out a year late, 2011. 20 plus percent crime drop in the last nine years. Real violent crime because more guns means less crime. Britain took the guns 15, 16 years ago. Tripling of your overall violent crime. True, we have a higher gun violence uh, level, but overall mugging, stabbings, deaths. You, those men raped that woman in India to death with an iron rod four feet long. You can't ban the iron rods. The guns, the iron rods, Pierce, didn't do it. The tyrants did it. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel okay. Castro took the guns. Hugo Chavez took the guns. And I'm here to tell you, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. Doesn't matter how many lemmings you get out there on the street begging for them to have their guns taken. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? That's why you're going to fail and the establishment knows no matter how much propaganda, the republic will rise again when you attempt to take our guns. My family in the Texas revolution against Santa Ana, my family, was at the core on both sides starting that because Santa Ana came to take the guns at Gonzales, Texas. Pierce, don't try what your ancestors did before. Why don't you come to America? I'll take you out shooting. You can become an American and join the Republic. You finished? Yes, I am finished. You will not take my right. You go through background checks to get guns. How about Prozac? You know the number one. Oh, that's the big sponsor, isn't it? Or that whole class of drugs. Let me ask you a question. Oh, whoa, got to cut that off, don't you? Don't all. want to talk about the U.S. number one Prozac. cause of death okay. is suicide now because they give people suicide Calm mass down. murder pills. Calm down. Your answer is give more money to the psychiatrist Fine. and psychologist let's, to put more crazy people on drugs that make them kill people, Pierce. Let's try and have a debate here. Yeah. Answer me this question. Mm -hmm. I'm sick of the same old script here, Bob. It's fine, bud. How many gun murders were there in America last year? Do you know? Uh, there were about 11,458, and about 74% of those were gang-related, gangbanger shooting each other. You get three and a half to 4,000. Okay, that, that How question. many people died from infections in hospitals? 197,000. just ask a second That's question. right. How many gun murders were there in Britain How many year? great white sharks? No, how many... Kill gun people murders. every year, but they're scared to swim. Right. How many gun murders were there in Britain? A very year? low amount. I already went over those How statistics. Many? Do you know? Uh, it was only a few hundred. No, no. How many gun murders? I actually actually did pull up the statistics. Here, let me pull them out right here. I figured you'd do that. Gun murders oh, in wait. Britain last UK year. Oh, wait. UK violent crime, capital of Europe. London no. Telegraph. Here, let me it's give you more. It's quite a simple question. Well, that's the oldest. You're a very loud that's the old, man. No, no. That's the oldest Perry Mason noise. tactic to ask me some little factoid. It's not a, it's not a little factoid. I already said earlier, We're talking about England a country. has a lot lower let gun try, crime rate because you me, took all the guns. Let me try exactly but my But you've point. got hordes of people burning down cities and beating old women's brains out every day. What a ridiculous They statement. arrest people in England if they defend themselves. That's on record. My God, you've got a total police state. Everybody's fleeing that country because the oh, you've had to flee here, bud. Why don't you I tell folks, here. yeah, you fled here. Hmm. Why don't you go back and face the charges for answer, the hacking scandal? Answer this question. How many Why'd guns? you get fired from the Daily how Mirror for putting many, out fake stories? How You're a hatchet many, man of the New World Order. Okay. You're a hatchet man. And I want to say this right here. You think you're a tough guy? L have me back with a boxing ring in here, and I'll wear red, white, and blue, and you can wear your Jolly Roger. Okay. You know what? You Let's try again. <laughs> how many gun murders were there? Oh, you're going to ban your fist now? In Britain last year. Uh, how many uh, chimpanzees can dance on the head of a pin? Hmm. 
already went over those statistics. Do you know the answer? Uh, no, I don't. I, you said hundreds. It's very low. You said hundreds. Yes. It's actually 35. Well, the point is you can... Against 11... Do you, thousand. Th Do you understand hey. the difference between 11,000 Yeah, England wants 35. to ban knives now because tens of thousands are getting stabbed. Right. But do you understand the knives? difference? The knife doesn't a... kill people. Do you the gun doesn't kill people. Yes. Listen, you understand do you the understand between you're not going to pull on America's 11, heartstrings? They know your script, mm. OK? You're not going to get our guns. By the way, you guys always say, we just want to take the semi-autos, OK, and all this other stuff when semi-autos aren't even, uh, mm. rifles aren't even used but in a fraction of the crimes, you can mm. pull those numbers up. OK? Uh, well, no, 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 hold which, on. Well, let me ask you one question. Which weapon was predominantly used in the Aurora movie theatre shooting? Uh, M4 AR-15 variant. So it was a semi-automatic yes, assault rifle. Yes, again. Okay. But next statistically, question. it's next, very, very next, low. That was, do you agree it was the single biggest shooting in the history of America in terms of people hit by a shooter? Do, do you know that? No, I believe that there were others. No, There's no, been some other no, shootings no, with about over 30. No, no, this was the single biggest mass shooting. Well, listen, you're just by, going... No, there have been bombings of Wall me, Street. Let me ask you a second are question. Are we going to... Listen, why can't the let pilots me ask have you a second firearms? Question. Alex, we trust them to fly the planes. Alex, you've had a lot to say. No, just my point is questions. the Second Amendment is sacrosanct, do you know, and you're not getting do you, it. Do you know which weapon was used in the Oregon shopping mall mass shooting recently? I understand that people... Uh, who are mentally ill on all the serotonin you know the, reuptake you know inhibitors who the play question. these shoot 'em up games, Alex. want to go out and do this. Alex. Because there's criminals, I Alex. don't lose my rights, Alex. Pierce. Alex. Because there's criminals, Alex. I don't lose my rights. Just answer the question. Yeah. Do you know what the weapon use was? Listen, let me ask you a question. No, no, answer. I've got the FBI Alex. statistics that, listen, no, no. that okay. the so called semi autos that you talk Let's about. Let's take a break. When we come back. Again, you're not going to get our guns. When we come back, try and answer my question. Yeah, all okay. you're going to do is sit there and play little factoid questions. Overall crime yeah, has gone over 20%. Fact. More. Piers Morgan Tonight is brought to you by Joseph A. Bank. We fit everyone. Visit josephabank.com. The gifts you wish you'd gotten are at Joseph A. Bank today. And they're all 70% off right now. Like all Merino wool top coats, 70% off. All leather jackets, 70% off. And all cashmere sweaters, 70% off. Plus, incredible savings on clearance. Like suits, only $178. Sport coats, $138. Even shirts, only $29.98. That's 70% off. And incredible savings on clearance. Going on now at Joseph A. Bank. We had never used a contractor before and didn't know where to start. At Angie's List, you'll find reviews on everything from home repair to health care, written by people just like you. No company can pay to be on Angie's List, so you can trust what you're reading. Angie's List is like having thousands of close neighbors where I can go ask for personal recommendations. That's the idea. Before you have any work done, check Angie's List. From roofers to plumbers to dentists and more, Angie's List. Reviews you can trust. I love you, Angie. Sorry, honey. If you have the audacity to believe that the massive challenge of saving for college deserves more than meager attention from your financial advisor. If you have the nerve to believe your financial advisor should be thinking about your retirement at least as much as you do. If you believe that whatever you're facing, you deserve FaceTime. Join the nearly 7 million investors who think like you do. FaceTime and ThinkTime make a difference. Join us. At Edward Jones, it's how we make sense of investing. What happens when you take something great and sharpen it? Awesome. How about when you take the leader in business security and give it more edge than ever before? Denied. Well, ADT Business Solutions is now Tyco Integrated Security. With world-class monitoring centers, thousands of qualified technicians, and a personal passion for helping you protect your business. And we'll help create security solutions customized just for you. That's Sharper. We are Tyco Integrated Security. And we are Sharper. For victory in life, we've got to keep focused on the goal, and the goal is heaven. The key to winning is choosing to do God's will and love others with all you've got. Sacrifice, discipline, and prayer are essential. We gain strength through God's Word, and we receive grace from the sacraments. And when we fumble due to sin, and it's going to happen, confession puts us back on the field. So if you haven't been going to Mass Weekly, get back in the game. We're saving your seat on the starting bench this Sunday. Welcome home. Starting point with Soledad O'Brien. CNN, tomorrow morning, 7 Eastern. Back 
Now with Alex Jones, a man says I should be deported for my stand on guns. So, Alex, here's how this is going to work, and it's entirely down to you. I'm going to ask you some questions. In the spirit of a proper debate, and you've had a lot to say so far on the show, and a lot of it aimed at me, which is fine, but I want you to try and answer the questions. It's a proper debate, OK? I'm not trying to trip you no, up. No, it's not a debate. You're running the okay. show. You bring in okay. your victims up front. Actually, actually to, no. Look, you got your little note cards. Yeah. Okay. I just gave you FBI statistics Fine. that violent Alex, crime Alex, and gun crime Alex, is down over 20%. Alex, let me just ask you And this. you want to go to little factoids. No, they're not little factoids. Anybody factoids. can pull those up. Listen. Do you know what... Do you have a bodyguard? Alex. Why do you have bodyguards? I don't have a bodyguard. Yeah, I've seen you on the news with them. Don't, don't you want to protect guard. your wife from hoodlums or you want to call the police? Let me ask you this question. Why does Diane Feinstein until 60 Alex. minutes that she okay. plans Alex. to try Alex. to take Mr. and Mrs. America's guns. Stop Have you seen that over me. You Let guys me... want to disarm all of America. No, I don't. Diane Feinstein's no, bill does I don't. gun confiscation. No, let me clarify for you. You don't seem to understand First what First you register, then you confiscate. It's no. always done the same. Here's what the campaign on this Well, here, shows. give me your little cue cards no. and I'll answer your questions for what you. What was the weapon used at Sandy Hook? I've already gone over that and already answered it for we you. We haven't talked about Sandy Hook. No, again, what I, was the weapon? it's a 223 M4. Right. Again, it's, but it's statistically, an, right. they're using very low percentage of, of right. shootings, but period. Are you, are you but seeing, you guys, are you seeing people a pattern? wouldn't go swimming because the movie Jaws, the biggest, even though great white Alex, sharks kill five people Alex, a year. Alex, You're trying to scare people. Let me say something. There's no metal shark in the water. The same type of weapon was used in the last yeah, three that's right. mass shootings. And Hitler used semi-autos to kill people. Why would you and not? And so did Mao. Why would you? Why is the government arming to the teeth you, against us? Alex, I don't know. What about Fast and Furious? Alex, Why do our government ship guns into Mexico? Alex. To blame the Second Amendment? Let's have a debate. A false flag? Alex. To blame the I Second Amendment? Accused, I get accused. Why they blow up Building Alex, 7 down the street here Alex, in New York? I get accused when I get you guys on of talking over you of being rude. I'm trying to be civil, yeah. right? You've got to try and answer some of the questions, right? Here's my issue for you. Why do people need, civilians, need an AR-15 type assault rifle? Okay, Why do you I already them? said statistically they're used in a very low the amount of the crimes. That's an FBI fact. They've been used in the last three mass shootings. Yes. Be why I'll tell you why. Them? Because they advertise it in the media. Anybody knows that if somebody jumps off the Empire State's building, they put cops up there the next day because copycats come to do it again. The media hypes and hypes and hypes. And that's not the Don't just commit suicide. Alex, why do people Don't commit suicide them? by killing a bunch of kids. And here's the gun to use because it's the one the U.S. Army uses. Why do people need them? They need them to protect us from the number one killer in history. Mm -hmm. Government in the 20th century, university uh, study out of Hawaii killed 292 million people. It's called democide. Google it, folks. Do you believe everyone in America should everyone in America yes. therefore have, yes. a, have an AR-15 if they want one? Statistically, where there's more guns, there's lower crime. Mm -hmm. The highest crime is in Bloomberg. Uh, you know, but you have the most controlled guns areas. of any of the 23 richest countries in the world, and you have 20, 20, well, 11, America was born gun on guns and whiskey. Right, but it's you, true we're a violent society. Right, so you but said statistically, that has the most knives kill three most times more. Murders. Have you seen the FBI numbers? Mm -hmm. Knives, bats, rocks kill, kill, kill many, many let's times talk, more. Alex, let's talk it's about not the, the guns. It's not the rock. It's not the right. knife. When a mother chops Alex, her kids up with a cleaver because she's on serotonin... Alex, tell me why I'm wrong. Why don't you want to get rid AR of the drugs? Because they're half your sponsors? No, stick to the, to the subject. America's number one cause of unnatural death now is suicide. Okay. Alex, not not automobile accident, not cancer. Not, you listen. accuse me of attacking the Second Amendment of the Constitution. I want to get people off pills that the insert says will Alex, make you commit suicide Alex, and kill people. Alex, let's get about to the Second I Amendment. I want to blame Alex, the real culprit. Alex. Suicide pills. Alex. Mass murder pills. Okay, let me ask you one question. Your belief, unless I'm wrong... First time anybody's ever heard this, by the way. Your belief, unless I'm wrong, is that under the Second Amendment, your real concern is that you will be overrun by a tyrannical regime, either from somewhere else... Yeah, highway checkpoints. Look at Mexico. Total gun ban for the citizens. Highest crime rate in the world. 57,000 people dead the last five years. Total gun ban for the citizens. But you, your Switzerland main... has the lowest crime rate Alex, in Europe. Alex, your country has Alex, the highest. Alex, we have 35 gun murders a year. You have 11,000. You, you people Alex, get their brains. It's the higher crime Alex, rate. Let me ask Violent you... crime is higher. On this specific... It's brains. Alex, it's people. I'm trying to get inside your brains. Pierce, it's if not you punch me right easy. now, it'd be not your fist, Alex, but your brain that does. Alex, let me get inside your brain. Okay. Okay? I'm serious. You have a very, very big platform. You air, I think, on 63 networks. No, in the no, that Wikipedia is like 10 years old. I'm on over 140 okay. stations, XM. Millions of Americans hear you. Over a million and a half day. visitors to InfoWars.com right. today. I congratulate where we have the statistics audience. posted right okay. now, okay. InfoWars.com. Who do you believe was behind 9 11? 
Oh, I absolutely know. I have the police on CNN saying, get back, they're going to blow up seven. I have BBC reporting. Who do you believe is behind I have the proof. I heard them on CBS who? radio. Oh, Alex. They announced they blew up the towers on CBS radio. Who do you believe? New Yorkers all saw it and heard it. Alex, who do you they believe? They blew up building seven. Alex, who do you believe was behind it? The American government. Criminal elements of the military-industrial complex, the same ones that staged Gulf of Tonkin, mm. the same ones that staged Operation, right. the mass shootings of Operation right. Gladio. Right. Ooh, do you, the CIA do you don't mean, like this Alex, right Alex, now. Do you mean that President Bush and his administration were behind 9-11? <sighs> I mean that even mainstream news reported that the hijackers were ordered to be allowed into the United States. Michael Springman, the head of the visa department, blew the whistle right. on that. So the Bush administration was part of a conspiracy Well, to he murder, said never let us tolerate to murder, murder to thousands murder, of Americans. To murder, um, I can speak in this accent as well. Yeah. The but is that what you believe? The government Hitler firebombed his own Reichstag, Pierce, mm. to bring in martial law in Germany mm. April 27th, 1933. Governments have staged terror attacks throughout history or allowed terrorists to attack mm -hmm. as a pretext to invade and enslave the populations. I, prob I probably own more than 50 firearms. Many of them have increased in value two, three, or even four times. I sleep very comfortably uh, outside Austin, okay. Texas, knowing Alex? that I can defend my family. Okay, Alex Jones, this is Info the man... Infowars.com. This is the man who wants to deport me from the country for wanting to get no, rid no. of No, no, it's, it's rifles, to point out you're a foreigner, a red coat, outrages. here telling us what to do. Whatever. Go back to where they took the guns if you don't like it. The communist... The boys use Capital One Venture Miles for their annual football trip. That's double miles you can actually use. Tragically, their buddy got sacked by blackouts. But it's our tradition! That's roughing the card holder. But with the Capital One Venture card, you get double miles you can actually use! Any flight? Any time. The scoreboard doesn't lie. What's in your wallet? I have me on my fantasy team. Someday, your life will flash before your eyes. Make it worth watching. The new 2013 Lexus LS. An entirely new pursuit. The rhythm of life. Where do you hear that beat? Campbell's Healthy Request Soup lets you hear it in your heart. Heart healthy. Great taste. Sounds good. It's amazing what soup can do. Like a lot of things, trying to find a better job can be frustrating. So at University of Phoenix, we're working with a growing list of almost 2,000 corporate partners, companies like Microsoft, American Red Cross, and Adobe, to create options for you. Not only that, we're using what we learn from these partners to shape our curriculum, so that when you find the job you want, you'll be a perfect fit. Let's get to work. Everything's better personalized. Discover Zeit, your personal intelligent magazine app. Explore your passions. Discover new ones. Zeit. Get it now. Free at the App Store. Testers claim the bill will lead to racial... This goes in the general fund. ...saying that this is only... ...distressed properties, many in foreclosure. I'm Wolf Blitzer. You're in the Situation Room. Tomorrow afternoon at 4 Eastern on CNN. The CNN mobile app connects you to CNN wherever you are with breaking news and original features from CNN reporters all over the world. The CNN mobile app. Download it now. Old-fashioned canes. If your cane can't keep itself upright, how do you expect it to keep you upright? That's why we've created the Hurricane, the go-anywhere, do-anything, all-terrain cane. Right now on national TV, we're offering our best deal ever. Get the full Hurricane standalone package for a historic price. Just go to www.thehurricane.com and enter the promo code below to unlock our best The patented staple step design gives you three points of contact on any surface. Sand, ice, gravel, snow, the Hurricane keeps you on the go. The Hurricane folds down to one third the normal size, so it goes everywhere you go. And when you need it, it's out in seconds. And the proprietary pivot head gives you more stability at any angle. The Hurricane truly stands alone. 
Get the Hurricane Standalone Package by calling now or going to www.thehurricane.com. Aaron Burnett out front, live tomorrow night at 7. Bringing Alan Dershowitz, who's agreed to defend me from deportation. Very kind of you, Alan. You, you defended uh, John Lennon, no less. Um, interesting encounter there with Alex Jones. He's the guy behind this petition to have me deported. Uh, he's really one of the reasons why I'm so concerned about the lack of gun control in America. He's a man that owns 50 weapons. <laughs> he has a sort of pathological view about it. He seems unhinged to me. Um, the irony of these gun rights guys saying to me that I'm rude to them won't be lost on my regular viewers, I'm sure. I try to stay calm, and really there's no other way of dealing with him because he's just a sort of ranting guy who doesn't want anybody to grab his guns. But no sense of awareness about the wider issue of a particular type of weapon mm -hmm. being used to commit these mass outrages. Well, we lawyers refer to people like that, not as witnesses, but as exhibits. Mm. He was an exhibit, like a piece of evidence. You just see him speaking and you say to yourself, I don't want that man to have a gun. I wouldn't feel comfortable having an argument with him mm. in his home where he had access to his 50 weapons. And if he got really mad at something mm. I said, or if I disputed his contentions, or I told him he was lying about the FBI statistics and that he was lying about the claim, more guns equal less crime, I would be worried he would grab for his semi-automatic and try to what, resolve it. What really would concern me about somebody like him is the amount of influence he has, a growing influence, as he boasted. He's got millions of mm -hmm. people listening to him. His, some of his YouTube rants have got tens of mm -hmm. millions of people watching them. And he ferments this fear of a tyrannical regime, and that is why everyone in America needs to be armed with AR-15s. And it's the stuff of nonsense, isn't it? I mean, well, the idea it's much that... more dangerous than nonsense. I mean, he was essentially comparing President Bush to Adolf Hitler. Yeah. Uh, he was saying that somebody, the criminal elements within our banks, the Bloombergs, the national of, banks... The point, Alan, yeah. You can't dismiss him as just a crackpot because millions of Americans tune into him now on a daily basis and believe what he but says. Let me tell you... That is why, to me, he's a very relevant guest here and he perfectly exemplifies... The problem. But the reason you perform such a great service by having him on is he usually preaches to his own little paranoid choir. Mm. People who listen to him are either listening to him for entertainment purposes, mm. the way I sometimes listen to Rush Limbaugh, mm. or because they really believe it. Now you expose well, we have a little exchange, actually. That's to just, a general audience. This is a little right. exchange that happened just right at the end here, mm -hmm. which uh, others haven't seen yet. And I'm here to tell you. 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. Doesn't matter how many lemmings you get out there on the street begging for them to have their guns taken. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? And that's why you're going to fail, and the establishment knows no matter how much propaganda, the republic will rise again when you attempt to take our guns. You see, when you have this debate on the East Coast or even the mm -hmm. West Coast, mm -hmm. I find that a lot of Americans come up to me and they're totally behind what I'm trying to do, which is a very right. specific thing. It's not about taking away his right to defend himself or his mm -hmm. family at home or to grab anybody's guns other than these military-style mm -hmm. assault weapons. But he doesn't want to hear any of the nuances of the debate. He couldn't tell me how many people get murdered by guns. Because he doesn't want to hear the because other he side of the Because he doesn't want to hear the, the answer. He knows it's very, very low. He doesn't want to hear it. And one thing I would suggest is it's time for us, you know, everybody hates commissions, but it's time for us to have a commission of 10 great distinguished scientists scientists mm. to put the lie to this notion that more guns, less crime. I know the statistics. I know the FBI data. I teach it. But most Americans believe the NRA propaganda. The NRA buys scholars. And it's they total, buy statistics. It's total but it's just wrong. Lies. It's total lies. It is total lies. Britain has strong gun control, for example, and averages 35 gun murders a year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. America has very lax gun control and has 11,000. Britain is about a fifth of the right. size of America. I can do simple maths. Japan has the toughest gun control in the world. They have two or three murders a year. Mm -hmm, Australia mm -hmm, had a mm -hmm. massacre in the 90s. They brought in a ban on all main high-powered guns mm -hmm. and assault rifles and so on. They've had no mass uh, shooting since. This is not rocket science. It, no. is, it is there to be had. The problem is that the NRA, 
and I'm sure that Mr Jones is a big fan of theirs and probably uh, helps them. Oh, he probably thinks they're way, way, way too much part of the establishment. Well, He's the, way, the problem, way to Alan, the right of the NRA. in this country is the political power the NRA now wield means that politicians are too coward to say anything. I mean, I have people say to me, you're so brave. What is brave no, I don't think... about wanting to stop 20 more children getting murdered? I don't think you're right about that. I don't think it's the NRA power. I think it's people like us, and not the two of us, but Americans who care about guns aren't doing enough to make our case to the public. But why not? Because we think it's their issue. We've given that issue over to them because they have lobbyists, they pay money. But in the end, the people determine the outcome. And it's wrong, and it's racist, and it's bigoted to say that guns are quintessentially American. They may represent a part of America, but my grandparents who came over from Poland and live in Brooklyn, New York, are just as much Americans. People who came over from Ireland, people who came over from Italy, we're just as much Americans if we live on the coasts. And we have a right to define the America that we want to live in, and we have the obligation to win politically, to vote for people, to put gun control as a high priority. They put it as a number one priority. We who favor gun control, put it as a 16th or 17th priority. So it's our fault, not the NRA's and, and fault. And the important thing of getting people like Alex Jones on this show is to hear him actually say that he believed President Bush, the American administration under him, were responsible for 9-11, and that is why he wants Americans armed to defend themselves against that kind of murderous tyranny. And it's, and it's the most dangerous rhetoric I have heard in a very long time. But it's very important that he be exposed on your show because decent Americans don't want to be associated with that kind of paranoid view of American history. They don't want to believe that our government is capable of engaging in the kind of tyranny that he fears. Uh, you know, government does a great deal of good for people. Yes, there are reasons to constrain government. That's why we have the Bill of Rights. The Second Amendment is part of the Bill of Rights. Justice Scalia, who wrote the opinion, mm. said very clearly the Second Amendment permits for reasonable regulation, for prevention of people like him from getting guns, for prevention of crazy people with long records, criminal records from getting guns. We have to do more to fulfill what the real meaning of the Second Amendment is, reasonable access to guns for self-protection and for hunting, and there's no room in America for these semi-automatic, automatic, and other kinds of weapons that are simply designed to create mass havoc. See, I believe that an increasing majority of Americans do not agree with I the agree likes with of you. Alec Jones. I think they realize a tipping point has been reached. When you have a movie theatre shot up, and then a school, an elementary school, enough is enough, and they mustn't let the agenda be driven by people like him. And when the NRA gets up and says the solution to it is to arm teachers in elementary schools and to give kids guns and to load our Create society the wild with West. guns. Nobody it's lunacy. We don't want to live in that Alan, America. Thank you so much for coming thank in. You. When we come back, a man who truly does believe the solution to gun violence is yet more guns. Sheriff Joe Arpaio on why he wants armed volunteers outside schools. I've always had to keep my eye on her, but I didn't always watch out for myself. With so much noise about health care, I tuned it all out. With United Healthcare, I get information that matters. My individual health profile, not random statistics. They even reward me for addressing my health risks. So I'm doing fine, but she's still going to give me a heart attack. We're more than 78,000 people looking out for more than 70 million Americans. That's health in numbers. United Healthcare. Capella University understands many schools don't have the resources they need. Bright students are getting lost in the shuffle. And administration's work gets more complex every year. When you look at these issues, do you see problems or opportunities? With an advanced degree in education from Capella University, you'll have the knowledge to meet these challenges and make a difference in the lives of students. Let's get started at capella.edu. Before COPD, I took my son fishing every year. We had a great spot, not easy to find, but worth it. But with COPD making it hard to breathe, I thought those days might be over. So my doctor prescribed Simbacort. It helped significantly improve my lung function starting within five minutes. Simbacort doesn't replace a rescue inhaler for sudden symptoms. With Simbacort, today I'm breathing better, and that means fish on. 
Simbacort is for COPD, including chronic bronchitis and emphysema. It should not be taken more than twice a day. Simbacort may increase your risk of lung infections, osteoporosis, and some eye problems. Tell your doctor if you have a heart condition or high blood pressure before taking it. With COPD, I thought I'd miss our family tradition. Now Simbacort significantly improves my lung function, starting within five minutes, and that makes a difference in my breathing. Today, we're ready for whatever swims our way. Ask your doctor about Simbacort. I got my first prescription free. Call or click to learn more. If you can't afford your medication, AstraZeneca may be able to help. CNN tomorrow morning, Soledad O'Brien shoots straight. What entitlements would you cut? And speaks from the heart. An injustice was done. The conversation begins. I I'm love when the panel just takes off without me. Starting point with Soledad O'Brien. CNN tomorrow morning, 7 Eastern. Erin talks with Indian-born Padma Lakshmi about the brutal rape in her home country that has sparked global outrage. Erin Burnett out front. CNN tomorrow night at 7. Women love men that are groomed to the max, but grooming certain areas can be a problem. Razor blades can cut you, and scissors can poke you. Now, there's MicroTouch Max, designed to go where razors and scissors shouldn't go. For safe, precise grooming that gets as close as a blade, it is safe to the touch. It's our latest trimmer with a built-in light to help you groom without missing a single hair. Remove unsightly ear hair with just a touch. Embarrassing nose hair? Gone like that. Got bushy eyebrows? Just snap on the guy and you're groomed to the max in seconds. Look at the difference. MicroTouch Max replaces expensive trimmers like these and goes places they can't with micro precision for only $14.99. Call now and you'll also get our 10-piece grooming kit as a bonus. Just pay shipping. It includes every grooming tool you need to always look your best. All for just $14.99. To order your MicroTouch Max, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-722-3197. That's 1-800-722-3197. The Situation Room with Wolf Blitzer, tomorrow afternoon at 4 Eastern on CNN. I am not someone who believes that having multiple armed guards in every school is something that will enhance the learning environment. And that's our first responsibility inside a school, is the learning environment. Um, you don't want to make this an armed camp. For kids, I don't think that's a positive example for children. We should be able to figure out some other ways to enhance safety. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, my next guest, says armed guards are exactly what America's schools need next. In the wake of the massacre at Sandy Hook Elementary School, Sheriff Joe Arpaio of Maricopa County in Arizona has called for armed volunteers to patrol around 50 schools under his jurisdiction. And the sheriff joins us now. Welcome to you, Sheriff. How you doing, Paris? Explain to, explain to me uh, why you believe that the answer to these gun massacres is to have a lot more guns. Well, you know, I'm not going to get into that. We have many, many laws pertaining to guns already. We ought to enforce those laws. Uh, but I'm taking immediate action. Uh, I have a volunteer posse made up of 3,500 are armed, well-trained, 100 hours of training. We just finished another program at the malls, very success successful. So why not utilize and mobilize the posse, which a sheriff can do, in the perimeters? I don't believe in putting the posse in the schools, but protect the uh, kids and the teachers by uh, outside patrol, visible, deterrence and uh, keep these bad guys out of the schools. At Columbine, you'll be aware, there was an armed sheriff. Twelve students got killed uh, and a teacher at Fort Hood, which is one of the most protected army bases in the world. Thirteen people were killed, 29 wounded. Um, at Virginia Tech, there were a number of armed security people. Why on earth do you think that these uh, patrolmen, as you put it, who've just taken off the streets and given a bit of training to, could do any better? Well, we don't pick them off the streets. They're well trained, uh, and they have the authority uh, under this sheriff. Nothing is perfect. Look at Norway. You remember the massacre in Norway that don't even allow guns? So you never can uh, say everything is perfect, but you sure can take action, try to deter any operation. Don't surrender. Don't just talk about it that every politician seems to be doing. Get something done. So that's what I'm doing. What about this old quaint idea? What about taking guns off the streets rather than flooding the streets with more guns? Well, I don't know. We have a second uh, amendment. You know, you've been through this, uh, many conversations about this. You have a first amendment. There's a second amendment. Uh, but uh, guns 
uh, do not kill, people kill. We just had two murders, uh, my office investigated by knives. Should we take all the knives away? I mean, where do you draw the line? Well, so, I suppose, uh, I suppose where you I draw, hey, here's my point, Sheriff, here's my point, which I tried to make to Alex Jones, but he was uh, ranting too loudly to really focus on what I was saying. <laughs> In Britain, we had a Don't very- Don't take it out on me. No, no, I won't. In Britain, we had a very similar massacre in Dunblane in Scotland in 1996. Mm -hmm. As a result, as I'm sure you know, a, a national handgun ban was brought in and it also banned all automatic and most semi-automatic rifles as well. So it would have banned the weapons that had been used uh, at Aurora, at Sandy Hook and the Oregon Shopping Mall and others. And since then, there has been no single shooting at a school in Britain. And there have been two uh, smaller massacres in that period uh, both by people who actually had uh, licenses for these arms. But in the main, Britain has been almost gun murder free. And it averages about 35 gun murders a year, as I tried to tell Alex Jones. In America, where you have 300 million firearms in circulation and you have extraordinarily lax gun control, you have between 11 and 12,000 gun murders a year. Now, Britain is just a fifth of the size of America. Five times 35 is not 11,000. So clearly, America has a particular problem. It has by far the greatest number of gun murders of any of the 23 richest countries in the world. So again, I put my question to you really is this. Why do people keep propagating a myth that more guns means less gun murder? Yeah, but Pierce, why are you comparing, uh, comparing your country uh, with the United States? I believe we have 350 million people that live in this uh, country. I was in uh, London, uh, for your information. I spent a week with BBC. They were following me around uh, on how we operate our jails, but I brought up the gun issue. The media didn't even want to address uh, the gun issue when I said the Bobbies should be armed too because things are changing in England. Uh, but uh, nobody wants to talk about it uh, in uh, England, which is really well, strange. The, the, You're the, talking well, about no, it. I'm well, glad you are. It's not, it's not that strange. The, the situation hasn't changed because actually the number of gun murders hasn't changed. We can talk about lots of things wrong with my country. You know, there's terrible problems with knife crime, with obesity, with gang violence, all sorts of social ills. I'm not claiming my country's perfect at all. But I can tell you one thing we got right. When a load of school children were massacred by a madman with a gun, we banned guns in my country, and I'm very proud of those politicians and of the public for rising as one, left and right, it wasn't a particular issue, and getting something done that has meant there's been no school shooting since. There probably will be in the future, but by God, we made it difficult. And what I don't see in America is any collective will by the people who run this country, including yourself, to try and make it more difficult for people who are disturbed to get their hands on these AR-15-style, military-style assault weapons, which are killing machines. Well, I think uh, Smith & Wesson six cylinders killed, too. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, but this is the Second Amendment. We do follow the Constitution in this country, and that's the way it is. If you don't like it, go change the laws. I'm here to enforce the laws. I'm doing the best I can to enforce the laws and, and protect the people of this county, Maricopa County. Now, if you want to change laws and everything else, okay. By the way... I know you're going to uh, say something about this, uh, but tomorrow, tomorrow is the year anniversary where my deputy sheriff was gunned down with a assault rifle. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to arm every one of my deputy sheriffs with automatic and semi-automatic weapons. Uh, they're going to defend themselves against anybody, anybody that tries to kill my deputies, whether it's with okay. a gun a knife or a bomb. OK, Sheriff, that's entirely your prerogative. As you say, until the laws change, you are perfectly entitled to arm everybody you like uh, in your uh, jurisdiction that's with right. AR-15s. And if that's your decision and you think that's the answer to America's gun problem, then that is entirely a matter for you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. We now have some breaking news. The White House has just responded to the petition to deport me for my stand on guns from Press Secretary Jay Carney. He says, I quote, the White House responds to all petitions across the threshold, which is 25,000, and we will respond to this one. In the meantime, it's worth remembering the freedom of expression is a bedrock principle in our democracy. So there we have it. Not deported 
just yet. When we come back, America's leading political family, the Kennedys, know all too well the deadly toll of gun violence. Patrick Kennedy and Christopher Kennedy Lawford are here to talk about that and about how this country deals with mental illness. What are you doing? Okay. Are you stealing our daughter's school supplies and taking them to work? No, I'm just looking for my stapler and my... this thing. I save money by using FedEx Ground and buy my own supplies. That's a great idea. I'm gonna go to... We got clients in today. Save on ground shipping at FedEx office. I'm named after my grandmother, but I never got to meet her. And I've always been curious about the first Ellen. I started with Ancestry.com. Just to see. All it took was her name. And there she was in a 1930 census. And there was her address. I lived four blocks away from there. I walked by that building every day. Make your own discoveries with the help of Ancestry.com. Start searching for free right now. Like a glove. I'm flying so fast, just ripping through the night and day. Beep, beep. Same hotel. The same pool. But two prices. Why pay more? Do the Trivago check. On Trivago, you always find the perfect deal for 500,000 hotels and over 100 different websites. Just select your ideal hotel, and Trivago shows you where to book at the best price. Hotel Trivago. I am no ordinary student. I control technology that's reinventing how education works. I'm creating a network I'll use my whole career. I don't fear the new economy. I am the new economy. We are the students of CTU. And if you're asking if we think the world revolves around us, no. But it certainly knows we're here. CTU, the new direction of online education. Are you in? Honey, did you pay the lawn guy? Now, small businesses don't have to chase down their customers to get paid. With Pay Anywhere, you can accept credit cards on any smartphone or tablet. There's no setup, monthly, or hidden fees. You're charged a low rate only when you process. If you're a small business, don't wait to get paid. Where's my money? Pay Anywhere. Get your free reader now. We have a completely cracked mentally ill system that's got these monsters walking the streets and we've got to deal with the underlying causes and connections if we're ever going to get to the truth in this country and stop this the nra's wayne lapierre talking about mental health and guns joining me now two men who have a lot to say on both those issues former congressman patrick kennedy and christopher kennedy lawford author of recover to live conversation with a hundred of the world's top treatment experts welcome to you both Thanks, Two Kennedys. I mean, I can't think of two better people to ask about this debate. Uh, and your reaction, I guess, immediately to, to the interview I had with uh, uh, Alex was, Jones. What, was, what did you feel? It, it was disheartening, I think. I, you know, I, I think just to see the anger there. And also, you know, I mean, he kept talking about the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment, Thomas Jefferson, who wrote the Second Amendment, said that it should be revisited every 20 years mm -hmm. to see if it's still appropriate. I mean, this is, you know, this was something that was written a long time ago. And he probably doesn't even know what the, the real intent of the Second Amendment was. So for him to quote this and just the, the absolute vitriol that is there is really disheartening. I was just disturbed. Disturbed as a human being that this is what our civil discourse has come to. What makes our country so great is that we're about passing power peacefully, not violently. And in my last year as a member of Congress, I'd say perhaps half of the members of Congress had to live wearing bulletproof vests and have armed guards. Really? 
when our, during the aftermath of Obamacare, when there were, the president was being held in effigy, and these kinds of threatening uh, comments of people like the man you just had on were blocking members of Congress from being able to go and vote. You may recall of that. Yeah. Um, and people like John Lewis were being called epithets, racial epithets. And this wasn't just isolated. This was happening both in our nation's capital and around the country. We've had a devolving of the civil discourse in our country, whether it's guns or it's this issue of mental health or anything that's a hot button issue where we can't talk to one another. And that I think is the more disruptive, disturbing mm. thing that, I mean, I felt threatened when he was threatening you. Mm. And the fact that we're not thinking about one another in those ways, he was assaulting your human dignity mm. as, a, as, a, yeah, as I mean, I, I, personally, I never felt threatened by him. What I felt was, it was one of those interviews where you want to let him talk. Because getting inside the mind of a man who has, you know, he has millions of people that listen to him every week and believe what he says. There is a sort of leading commentator in American society actually saying the American government under President Bush ordered 9-11. I mean, this is the stuff of, of madness. It, it's scary. And I mean, I think, you know, the underlying thing is when you're talking about the, the guns with, uh, you know, being able to be purchased by people who have underlying mental illness. And I've, you know, written this book that's about yeah. addiction. And 50 to 70 percent of the people that present with addictive disease or mental illness have the other. So we're talking about some really, some, some ill folks who are able to get uh, uh, weapons of mass destruction, really. And that's what these I mean, weapons are. I mean, this is what I find so disturbing about the debate. People like Alex Jones, the NRA and others, they shout so loudly and so regularly, they cloud the debate and frame it in the way they'd like it to be. They're trying to grab our guns, Second Amendment, all this kind of stuff. I don't want to change the Second Amendment. I don't want to change an American's right to bear an arm at their home to defend people. I want to get rid of these killing mm -hmm. machine assault weapons off the street. Get rid of them. It's not well, what the when you had Sheriff mind. Arpaio say, uh, guns don't kill people, people kill mm. people. Yeah, try killing that many people in such a short amount of time with a, with a hammer or a knife. Well, we, that know, just we, know, we know how... from in the same week as Sandy Hook, a, a madman in China attacked a school and he stabbed 22 of the yeah. children. They all lived. Right. That's all you need to know. You know, had he had a gun, they'd all be dead. Uh, of course, guns kill. That is their only purpose. I also think, you know, Patrick and I are, we come from a family where gun violence definitely affected us. Of and course. it affected, it affected the, the people immediately, but it affects a family for generations. Mm -hmm. People that are, that, that have been gunned down in these places like Aurora and, and at Sandy Hook are, those people will be affected for generations. And for, to see the lack of compassion for, by, by folks who are demanding their right to, 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 to be able to have these mm. guns for those that are suffering is 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 are you are you surprised that following the assassinations of John F Kennedy of Bobby Kennedy that we are in a position in America now where these kind of lawless mass shootings are happening with regularity and no one is doing much about it well uh, as i said i think the lack of discourse so that that is really what's offensive in our country, where we should be able to debate our problems without impugning the integrity of the people who have positions. And I think we need to have a more fundamental discussion because our whole democratic system is falling apart mm. as a country. We cannot understand and bridge the divide between us. And that leaves us to fight each other and look at an, in an antagonizing way of each other as enemies. I think that's a, a fundamental problem. I think this gun issue is sparking this. But you can see all around our democracy is in peril right now. And it's that kind of fear, vitriol, yeah. paranoia that's substituting for debate. In and our it has country. very real consequences because what happens, as we saw in December, is that America then has a surge in sales of these assault right. weapons and ammunition. Look, I could talk to you guys all night about this. I've got to go, unfortunately. It's a terrific book. Recover to Live, Kick Any Habit, Manage Any Addiction. Christopher Kennedy Law for Great to See You. Thank you, Pierce. That's a lovely, yeah. It's a really so terrific much. book. Thank, Thank you so much. Thanks, great Paris. to see you again. God bless. We'll be right back. This is Sheldon, whose long day setting up the news starts with arthritis pain and a choice. Take Tylenol or take a leave.
the number one recommended pain reliever by orthopedic doctors. Just two Aleve can keep pain away all day. Back to the news. The raise of an eyebrow, a nod of agreement. Now you can actually see these nuances clearly thanks to GoToMeeting with HD Faces. GoToMeeting takes simple online meetings a big step forward with its one-of-a-kind high-definition video conferencing, which you can try free for 30 days. Meet face-to-face -face with your team no matter where they are, reducing travel costs and increasing profitability. GoToMeeting is extremely simple, so your team will actually use it. With one click, you're working on the same document. Building trust, staying focused, and turning your business ideas into actions faster. Share your screen, mark changes, and do it free for 30 days. Millions have made GoToMeeting their go-to video conferencing tool. And now you can too. Free for 30 days at GoToMeeting.com now. Collaborate in high definition free. Only at GoToMeeting.com. Addiction is a disease and must be treated with the right balance of science, individualized treatment, and family support. Inspire Malibu is America's only 100% science and evidence-based treatment center and utilizes the industry's most advanced addiction treatment methods by world's leading addiction experts. If you or a loved one are struggling with addiction, choose the only facility that uses actual science and medical doctors to stop your addiction forever. Inspire Malibu, where addiction stops and your new life begins. It's the rape case America is talking about. Piers Morgan with an exclusive look into the story. The lawyer for the alleged victim live. CNN tomorrow night at 9. Are you ready to save up to 95% on what you want most? Then try Quibbids.com, an exciting new way to shop for products like iPads, MacBooks, HGTVs, cameras, appliances, and more. Imagine getting a new Apple iPad today for just $23.74. Or, how about a Samsung 50-inch TV for as little as $84.95? Or a brand new Honda Civic for $1,800 on Quibbits. Deals like this happen every day. Quibbits is a unique auction website. Each auction starts at zero. When someone places a bid, the price increases by as little as one cent. The result is insanely low prices. On Quibbits, you can save up to 95% off retail. I got a MacBook Pro laptop for $67. Stop everything and visit Quibbids.com right now. Enter the promo code below to receive 10 free bids. That's Q-U-I-B-I-D-S.com. Go to Quibbids.com now. Aaron Burnett out front, live tomorrow night at 7. Well, as you may not have heard earlier, I want to go back to our unbreaking news tonight. The White House has responded to the petition to deport me for my stand on guns. Press Secretary Jay Carney says the White House responds to all petitions across the threshold, and we will respond to this one. In the meantime, it's worth remembering that freedom of expression is a bedrock principle in our democracy. So I guess my future here is in the hands of President Obama. That's all for us tonight, AC360.